Chrome Duelist, and I'm probably going to pull the nuts again. Let's see what we can get out of this video, or this gold box is the last one in the whole little box that I got. I'm going to have another one coming in the mail, and let's see what we can get out of this one. We'll throw that off the side. It seems to be good luck to chunk them in the floor. So let's see what we can get out of this one. Seems like I open them from the back. Oh, this one's upside down. Did I open it upside down? I don't know. Okay, so we got a Volcasaurus. Emergency, te emergency teleport's expensive. <laughs> Was expensive. A Traveler in the Burning Abyss, Dark Advance, and a Cosmo Light Sword. That's pretty good. Let's see what we can get out of this next one. I mean, E Teleport's pretty good. We have an Evil Sworn Ouroboros. Reasoning, that's first reasoning. Go Ghost, Ogre, and Shadow Rabbit. A $15 card out of this, too. I have totally made my money back, and I'm not even the last pack. Uh, Ravenous Tarantula and Avoid Trap Hold. Last pack. Let's see what we can get. I gave up on the Burning Abyss card in every single pack, though. I think. I don't know. I haven't been paying attention. I've just been paying attention to the awesome stuff I've been pulling. The Terminus in the Burning Abyss, Constellar M7, uh, Chimera Tech, Fortress Dragon, Shining Hope Road, and an Ice Hand. That was pretty good. That, that was actually pretty good. Ghost Ogre. Whatever. I'll take a Ghost Ogre. That's a $15 card for right now. Anyways, guys, this is Dark Arm Duelist. I hope you enjoyed this opening. I certainly did. Don't forget to check out the other videos. They'll probably all be in a playlist. So don't forget to check them out. And this is Dark Arm Duelist, and I'm out.